We welcome the world into Eden Park, Auckland, New Zealand, the first ever 2020 international in the history of the game. New Zealand against Australia. We're pleased to say it's a magnificent night here. There will be no problem with the weather. And here they come, the New Zealand side in base, led by Stephen Fleming, with the facial hair, Matthew Sinclair, Styrus, Hamish Marshall, McMillan, Cairns. Look at Hamish Marshall in the background. What an unbelievable look that is. <laughs> Goodness me, what is he on? Andre Adams, Jeff Wilson, Kyle Mills, Daryl Tuffy, and the local boy Lou Vinson is back in the squad, 12th man. No Vittori and no Astle. What a good look. And Michael Slater's with me. Your boys look like they're going to enjoy this as well, led by Clark and Gilchrist. They sure will, and they're both so well suited for this form of the game. They're dynamite in the 50 overs aside. Will they change their game? Will they try and up the ante a little bit more? I don't think they need to. A night of history here at Eden Park. I wonder where this ride is about to take us. Clark if he was on strike it's worth noting Graham that uh, Eden Park here is sort of taking away the hat-trick from the MCG that was uh, when the first ever test match was played back in 1877 and the first one day I was in 1971 at the MCG Gilchrist I think off the back of the bat was it And he gets off the mark just to settle a few nerves <laughs> as I try and stay a little bit serious with Hamish Marshall. That's his natural hair, folks. Bringing out the older headband. How we'd both like to have some of that. <laughs> well, I've done something about it. Michael Clark looking out deep and will go remarkably all the way. Remarkably is exactly the word because this is off the back foot, over cover. You see cricket strokes over cover and mostly they're off, well all of them are off the front foot. This is extraordinary. It's off the back foot, it's in the very first. This time McMillan won't have any trouble and they've gone. They've got one. You wanted it to be eventful, it's over one. Well, he got a bit of cut back and it, it spliced Clark. It just give, gave him no room at all. And his intention was to hit it over mid wicket, but uh, it just didn't go anywhere. And McMillan had an easy cough at that. So uh, the Black Caps. And again to Simons, this one will just disappear up into the terraces. And it'll make Billy Bowden dig nice and deep to find a six. Well, it'll make Barry Bonds proud. Gilchrist is gone. McMillan has snuggled both of them. Mills grabs one to join in with Tuffy. And again, the short ball's got no, the trick what? for uh, New Zealand. Whacked in. And it's hard to keep it down when it's that high. That's a good bouncer. Gilchrist again not getting the middle of the bat. Didn't get going tonight. McMillan's second chance has got his man. And so uh, the best striker in the world has gone. Rather sedate compared to everybody else goes potting. I'll put this down to another win to Simons. Forget about this one. This is an open invitation. Again, he's always looking to go down the ground because that's the best chance of getting the full face on the bat and getting maximum return. That's a terrific stroke again. Two sixes, two fours. The strike rate is uh, up around 260. <laughs> Top edge will do, and that'll hurt again as they think about that near thing with Fleming last over. Beautifully played by Simons. Wonderful cricket shot. The balance just kept his head. <laughs> Got him! The man they want, what was a horror, turns into a little bit of a dream in the end for Carl Mills. That's a big wicket. Boy, Simons looks 
in stunning form. He got a toe ender. So Mills Knight has uh, turned a lot better. And he's a relieved boy to see the finger go up. And Simons, the back of Simons, finally gone for 32. Australia 46 for 3. short stay he looked a tad scratchy and he's played inside one here Australia have lost their fourth and only the sixth over well it seems to me Smithy they're not just not sure how to go about it there's always the pressure on in this even more reduced form of the game 20 overs they've got Damian Martin was forced into the big shot and beaten all ends up 54 great shot magnificent placement You've got to get it right. Smaller grounds mean smaller angles. By it all, but then that might be his his look. He, you know him better than I do. <laughs> well, he'll be showing a lot of interest now because this is uh, a selection out of the blue. This is Jeff Wilson. 12 years in the wilderness in a black jersey, an all-black jersey. Welcome back, Jeff. Welcome back. Not the delivery he would have liked to dish up for the first one. Just straying knee height, full toss down the leg side, and not difficult at all. Hamish Marshall, <laughs> as bad as it looks, he's an outstanding fieldsman. Saves a lot of runs, saving money at the moment on haircuts. We'll cut off another one. <laughs> well, it doesn't get any better, does it? No matter where you look here at Eden Park. Good line from Andre Adams to Totting. There's a big one from Caddidge out of the park. Did I say something about hitters? Well, my own club skipper ran, ran from Ramwick Petersham. Caddick sends it into the top deck. Well, he'll enjoy batting here because he's not known for hitting sixes, but he'll use these short boundaries. If he's going to go anywhere, it'll be a bit more cow corner. It wasn't a slog. He watched the ball. And this time, brilliantly away from Hamish Marshall. Picks his placement. Superb from Caddick. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent atmosphere here at Eden Park tonight. Great crowd in, heading towards 30,000. Hamish Marshall has got that responsibility. That man there tries the best he can, but the short boundaries. Four's coming easily now for the Aussies. A wicket is needed. Just the change of pace. Picked beautifully by Ponning and just took full control. Sitting from a bowl and afford that at the moment, though. And again, that should go all forget the way. It. Just forget it. It's hit the top of the stand and bounced back. I'll tell you something about Jeff Wilson. He's gone from all black to all beige to black and blue. Got it. He'll hit it on and they get a much needed wicket to break this dangerous partnership. They needed something to come back their way. Just a bit of a change up there from Cairns. A little bit shorter. Gaddich giving himself room. At long on. Slow ball, good delivery from Cairns. I can see hairdressers in New Zealand rubbing their hands together. The jing, jing, jing in the till now. As young cricketers around the country try to get this magnificent Hamish Marshall look. It'll cost them thousands to do it. I nearly got there when I was 20. 20? 20 months? <laughs> That's the closest you ever got. <laughs> Straight hit, and Marshall gets everything behind it. Every strand of hair. now on his last over as well two slow balls so that uh, will be the trend no doubt that's sweet that's sweet 
and long. Well, we've heard that this boy can play. And he's just showing glimpses now, now that he's got in, to get under the ball and send it a long way. And Ponning on 63 on strike. Has that gone? Yes, it has. Three sixes in a row as Ponning and Hussey put down the foot on the gas. There's a Dennis Lilly look-alike. How do you stop him? Well, you stop him by still bowling the right lengths. The death. The death is the whole game here if you're a bowler. You've got it. That's gone. That is gone out of here. Holy cow, Ponning might be lining up a 20-20-100. Well, Andre Adams tried to line this one up. That was out of the sweet spot. And out of Eden Park. Out towards the background. A massive blow. Boy, oh boy, what a stuff you do here. 6-2-6, six, six, 14 from the over. That's gone as well. That is sensational. Well, Ponning's gone to 83. It is superb because they just don't know where to bowl to him. They cannot get the length right, the New Zealanders. That is a half volley. It is. It's wonderful batting. It's beautiful timing. But you've got to learn, it's not the place to bowl. Make it as hard as possible. 83, 50 balls. We've got 20 off the over and still there's two to go. Tuffy under the gun. And Ponning just peels off the most beautiful cover drive. What a peach. Four sixes and seven fours, and that was the best of them as he races to 87. Well, this is a batting party. This really is. It's a clinic of pure hitting and then just grace. Sublime timing. Magnificent cover drive. Look at that. Held the pose. 24 and one to go. Oh, dear. That's gone as well. It's gone all the way, and 30 comes up from the over. Well, catch your breath. 200 up, and we've got an over to go. 200 for five, Australia. And 50 or four for Daryl Tuffy. First three, he thought the game was easy. Now he's having nightmares. One delivery in the over, he really got in the right spot. The rest were in the hitting zone. It was magnificent hitting too. You'll probably remember the cover drive. That one there. You'll like that. Daryl Tuffy will remember them all. Thump. Clank. 6-2, 6 6, six, four, six. Yeah. Two deliveries to come. There's a single anywhere in the park if he wants it. He's uh, played a great hand here, 25. Oh, he's joined the party and picks up half a dozen. His second big one. Again, a poor delivery, but what an outstanding sweep shot here off a slower ball. And he's going to leave his skipper stranded. It looks like his skipper's going to be stranded. There's one ball to come. Hussey's on 31, Ponning 98. Partnership 77 in the blink of an eye. A dot ball. Oh, brilliant stuff. A fancy finish, but I fancy they won't be enjoying the break. It's 214 for five and 20 overs. Magnificent hitting, magnificent cricket. Well, if this is any indication for the future of this format, we have just seen a wonderful exhibition. Great hitting at the top by Simon, 32 from 13 balls. And Australia looked to be struggling at 54 for four, and Ponning was joined by Kadich. And together they put together 83. They just played cricket. And then with five overs to go, Ponning went nuts, so did Hussey. And so New Zealand, when they come back after a short break, will want just conditions here are different. So from a one-day start, to uh, this series, it's going to be very close, closer than some people might think.
And that's a quality strike from McCullum. That's what we saw from Ponting. And that's good to see from him. Orthodox through the offside. 45 for no loss. One of the few times Lee has actually pitched up. McCullum just kept still. Put it away beautifully. So the uh, experiment of McCullum up the order working nicely. McCullum's always thought that he was the Gilchrist of New Zealand. He's always wanted to do this. A lot of bet on that. That will. Yes, it's got through McGrath because it had a lot of timing. McCullum is on 30. Absolutely motoring. Not too far from Michael Clark at backward point, but very hard to really... Massive game on for Potting and the Australians. <laughs> they climb back through Kasperwitz. How many times has he done this? Remarkable restart to his career. He's a great foilist bloke, he really is. Stephen Fleming didn't quite get his timing tonight. There's not a lot of room to find timing. You've either got... 49 for one. Straight into it, Sinclair doesn't get it, he'll get two. Kasprowicz turns it. Oh, he's incredible, isn't he? Kasprowicz, how often does he come in after the early heroics of McGrath and Lee? And they haven't picked up their reward. Gillespie's another one. Never write off Kasparitz. He does it time after time. He says, don't forget me, I'm on this tour. Comfortable catch for Simon Kadic, and all of a sudden, it's 49 for two. Scotty Styrus to make his way. And it was Kasparovic with a little bit of in-swing that put pay to the Kiwi skipper, and then first ball for Sinclair. Just rushed at it. First one he received, and an easy catch up for Kadic. Patrick ball in front of a packed house at Eden Park. <laughs> Thought about it, McCallum. <laughs> And he saw two slips. He saw Ponding put in a second slip. He saw the outswing early and thought, I don't mind being a part of history at times, but not this part of it. Styrus, Gilchrist with a massive chase. Won't get there, just misses. Geez, he covered some territory. You'd put him in the fullback role at Eden Park, wouldn't you? Well, there's been more fruitful dives in the corner than this one, I promise you. More often than not, they come up with a five-pointer. And Adam Gilchrist has come up with some grass and fresh air. <laughs> Smash goes Styrus. All the way. From a miscue to the absolute maximum to get him smiling. He's been out of the game a little while, Scott Styrus with a knee problem. Looks like he's enjoyed the break. Just over the boundary rope. It only has to be just over. Kasperowicz, the wicket taker, takes on McCallum. And he just comes up short with another boundary. Well, he got a severe working over from Brettley early on, Brennan McCallum. It opened up the eyes. Now he's found the timing and the pace of the bowling is a little bit more to his liking. He's freeing his arms through the offside. This is a terrific shot, it really is. Look how far out the leg stump he goes to enable even a good line to be hittable. Twenty-three balls for his thirty-six, McKillum. Got him. Travelled all the way to Ponning, straight to him. And it is the Ricky Ponning and Casper which show so far tonight. Three for Casper. Brennan McCullum thought when this came off the bat, I've got one nicely. I have timed that beautifully. Problem is, I haven't placed it. Ricky Ponning gets in the way.
fashion gone mad tonight. <laughs> McMillan, outstanding. He has forearm jabbed this straight over cover. Outstanding and they're upstanding. 76 for three after eight. All about uh, using the feet here and getting it to a situation where he's bowling in the your strike zone. McMillan did that perfectly. It's a little shimmy outside leg stump. Look at the way it just dips away and he can free the arms a la Barry Bonds. Great power, great balance. Head nice and still over the ball. Like a tracer bullet. From That's where he was looking. Gilchrist didn't send him wide enough. Half volley gets the treatment. Margin for error gets smaller as the game gets shorter. They knew where he wanted to send it. Field placement was about five out in the end. Change up from Kasperowicz. Bowled a slower one. Styrus just waited on it. Well, this is a superb cricket shot. You mentioned the word weight. That deserves a dip in the pole, that timing. <laughs> I've completely lost my thought now. <laughs> Some things don't change. Can't. We haven't seen him. Millen's seen that one. He hasn't got it well enough, though. He's going to go and hopes has his first wicket in the big time. And I don't think it matters. It's in this 2020 fixture. It's still a wicket. Probably lucky to get away with it. It was in the slot. McMillan had a perfect opportunity to utilise these short boundaries. Chris Cairns. Strike rate is coming off, but that's all it takes. One decent partnership at a great rate of knots, and they'll be back in this in no time. Kasperowitz, how often do you see it? Three for 23 off three overs. So the new ball bowlers haven't struck. He does it time after time. Looks pretty even there. It is even there. This is where Ponting kept in. That's high. It's not far enough either. That's easy. McGrath takes the catch, and one of New Zealand's biggest hopes goes early. It's a huge blow. There's a silence here at Eden Park. They're expecting big things from their hero, Chris Cairns. And the ball just got a little bit... I mean, Kaspervitz has got this unusual ability to get extraordinary bounce. He's always rolling the, his fingers across the ball, his variation. So huge and then his mate Bickle had come in and replace him and then he'd back in and back out. And he's just got better with age and he's he's playing the best from a batting point of view. If the bowler goes for a Yorker and bowled him straight through. Marshall playing for a little bit of off spin. It didn't turn off the straight. And it takes the top of off stump, so another wicket falls. And uh, New Zealand are in trouble at this stage. That's beautifully bowled, done for pace. Absolutely done for pace. It's skidded on, and Hamish Marshall, hair and all. Well, you might need to have a cut. It's 105 for six. Wear the tight uniforms. They show the extra padding. Not a night for the perm, it seems. Andre Adams. 32 matches. Strike rate's a big factor here, 103, but New Zealand are running out of wickets and they're running out quick. Forces their way in. They stay in to that side. It's too hard. Brilliant feeling. Simon Kadich, terrific work here. It was an awkward bounce. New Zealanders just seem unable to find the timing that Ponding found. How about that for a pickup? Oh. Might get that straight enough. He does. Adams is underway. It's 114 for six after 14.
like a dart. Very straight down the ground, mid on, or well, long on, long off. Not having a chance to get to it, it was hit firmly. Tony Hill, you're not making many friends. You've got to get those. Any timing here? Yes, please, that's six. Just a smidgen over the road. And that's the signal they want to see. There's some hope here. Amazing noise. The atmosphere goes through the roof when the big shot is hit. And again, that's well bowled from Simons. Right up there in the block hole. Very hard to get under it. Well, next to impossible. They just need to get on some sort of a roll. Two big overs. And they can be right back in this match. Run out. Total confusion. Adams will go because they did cross mid pitch. It was hit so well. It was well fielded inside the circle. I got a feeling it was McGrath again, was it? I was just going to say, guess who? It's the pigeon. He's having a ball out there. He hasn't got a wicket. No wicket for 25 of his two overs, McGrath, but he's chipping in in the field. A good catch and now pretty handy run out. Mind you, they shouldn't have missed it. Andre Adams, run out for seven. Not sure if that was picked up. Now earlier, Hamish Marshall wandered out today in that retro look. And uh, just reminded us that Jimi Hendrix is alive and well at Eden Park. In a remarkable atmosphere, the way they've turned back the clock. Amongst us, some brilliant cricket as well. Well, thank God for Styrus. Hamish Marshall's teammate, Scotty Styrus, who's uh, had a bit of an injury in recent weeks. But, boy, he's playing a blinder here, 46 from 29, and showing like Ponting you can play good strokes. The Aussies found a couple of huge overs at the finish. The Kiwis in search of plenty all the way through. They need a big over, a 20 or a 25, just as Ponting dealt to Tuffy. So far they've got 11, but you just feel that they need another 10 of this over if possible. He goes searching for it down the ground. Does it have the legs? No. He'll find a boundary just short looking for six. But a terrific 50 for Styrus. Oh, that's a magnificent innings. Scotty Styrus is a complete player. He can hit it along the deck and in the air. This will split him. He's starting to threaten to do it. 19 off the side. The best. They'll squeeze them out. Can't believe it, McGrath, but another boundary. They need boundaries on every ball now, and it doesn't matter how they come. This is magnificent placement. He tried to slice it. He just got it uh, finer than perhaps he would have liked as he brought Gilchrist into play. Styrus again. Kasprowitz again. Tips it over the bar. And Billy Bowden climbs a couple of rungs up the ladder and says that's half a dozen. Styrus has this ability to get under the ball, even though it's reasonably flat, but boy, the power is there. Huge leap from uh, Kasprowitz. You'd think it was the MCG. <laughs> Brentley just about puts a full stop to it all and sends Styrus on his way. Last throw of the dice for Styrus, who's played a, a blinding knock. It really has been the line here. 66 from 39 balls. Lee in the end was too fast and too straight. And so Styrus has gone for 66, 161 for eight now. It was Casper, which that really broke this game for Australia. Yeah, New Zealand needed uh, Cairns and McMillan to step up and support Styrus, just as uh, Hussey and Cadditch did for Ponning. But it wasn't a beat. McMillan nine, Cairns one. If they fail to uh, 
thrill the fans here in Auckland. He's used to putting up bombs at this ground. And this one will fall safe. Like McGrath has here. And McGrath grabs one as well. Rye smile from Wilson. But they're threatening. That's the difference between the two sides. McGrath is world class, has been for a long time. Right up there. Had a good taste. And he goes through Jeff Wilson. They have had all their guns firing tonight. Pitch has told the story. Lights out for Wilson. 18 off the 14 balls, 165 for nine. Stop in the States. <laughs> Bring back the beige. That's been successful. Great initiative with the, the beige brigade. A lot of good marketing ploys for this match, and it's uh, lured 30,000 there into Auckland for this uh, opener. The Aussies, of course, brought out their famous canary. Yellow, just thought they missed it. Didn't quite have the, the old flares to boot. Nothing could be uglier than the beige. <laughs> Glenn McGrath threatening a Trevor Chapel impersonation to bring the house down here at this tour opener. <laughs> the stage is made for Billy Bowden. It has been that sort of night. <laughs> Nearly as famous as many years ago with a smile. He'll finish it this time. And the Aussies. Tuffy. Down the ground. They'll grab them all. Kasprowitz. Try and keep him out of things tonight. And the Aussies knock them all over for 170. On a great night at Eden Park in front of a packed house. Nearly 400 runs, Graham. And we've seen all sorts of action. He's been some high quality play. Ponning outstanding. You won't see a better innings this summer than the one we saw from Ricky Ponning. We've seen great bowling from Lee McGrath, Kasparovic. Boy, are they going to be a handful in the next few weeks. The Aussies, no doubt about Ricky Ponning's magnificent knock tonight. He took control when they'd lost four early wickets, steadied the ship, and then chock full of confidence, just put on, put the foot on the accelerator and hammered the last five overs. And 214 was always going to be just too big an ask for the Kiwis and a brilliant win of 44 by the Aussies. So they're gone, 170 to wrap up the Kiwis and Australia to win it by 44.